So just to say, Dr. Mohamed Hamad is the president of the association and he's going to address the meeting. Right. A little condolence from one of our colleagues, um, uh, Mr. Megdi. He was our treasurer and we lost him uh, earlier this year. He was a very influential person in the SMA and a founder member. Condolences to his friend and his family. Uh, like what Faisal said, it's founded in 2010, and we thought about how can we get the training of the Sudanese doctor here and in Sudan for war. And we thought about an organization who had no political affiliation at all, not linked to the government, to work with this government, next government, next whatever happened, we will carry on working for to improve the health in Sudan, and we have nothing to do with union or trade union claims. So, we are not the Sudanese doctor union here or from Sudan, and we have nothing to do with that. What, we, what concerns us is academia. How can we help the junior doctors merely in Sudan and the doctor who came to UK. And you could see from my presentation. And the other thing as well, a platform for all health and light health professionals. Because the main problem, everything concerned about doctors. In Sudan, how many medical colleges? Millions. How many nursing, new nursing colleges? No. Maybe it's still the nursing college which started in 1950 something. I, I, I haven't got the I, I haven't got inside information, but there's no expansion of the nursing sector while there's a lot of doctors, medical colleges. The other thing, our vision obviously improvement uh, of the healthcare, uh, healthcare in Sudan and. Uh, it also help the, the junior doctors who come here. Now, what we're doing now, I'm trying to get uh, through this very quick. We have more than a thousand registered members. It involves the whole spectrum. Doctor, nurses, pharmacists, dentists, lab technicians, uh, therapists, radiographer. Uh, our main problem is that we haven't recruited a lot of nurses, very rarely, and I don't know why, but just we are lagging behind in this uh, group. Most of our members are in Sudan, strange enough. Junior doctor in Sudan. And most of them young junior health professionals, doctors, nurses, and radiographers. Membership grown every day. And it is free membership for all the doctors in Sudan and the junior doctor in UK. The average age of the get executive board, obviously, excludes me and Faisal and this old guard. Yes, it is about 32, uh, 32 years. And they're really, uh, yeah, really uh, quite young people. Hatim, one of the young ones. <laughs> and we continue what has Faisal have done in the previous, uh, when he, uh, in, the, in the elective uh, board. And we have an expert advisor com committee led by Faisal, also advise me and advise uh, our vision as well. Uh, very committed huh? to, uh, and dedicated to SMA vision. And the, the, the breakthrough is the SMA Junior. If you go to the Facebook, look at SMA Juniors, you'll find more than a thousand and do, uh, doctors and healthcare care professionals there. And the exchange experience. Somebody wants a club, people send the, the, the uh, sending the club, they make a group to study or send them the material. They are helping each other. So it's, 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 taking, it's taking its own momentum. I don't need to, I supervise the thing, but I, I, I don't need to interfere a lot. And no politics, very important. Project LEMS. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that. I don't want to steal the thunder from Abu Bakr. It is Abu Bakr's baby, so I will leave it to Abu Bakr Shaddad. Uh, junior 
we've got junior outreach training project, medical student outreach project, and doctor and early training project. I'll talk about this very briefly. That junior doctor uh, 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 early training, uh, doc, uh, uh, yes, I forgot the name now. <laughs> Doctor in early training, yes. This is led by uh, one of the most enthusiastic and active member called Noha Kamal, one of the one of the doctors, and it is UK based. So far, we have done three workshops: especially training, application, interviews, conflict resolution. Uh, also, there are recreation like summer break. They they did uh, last weekend. They, they went to go karting and things like that. Job application reviews. People are applying for uh, foundation program. Oh my God. <laughs> so I have to skip a lot. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So I'll, I'll skip the photos about the work. Junior doctor outreach training project, Sudan based. They have done 32, uh, 38 uh, workshops equivalent to 214 hour teaching hour in Khartoum, River Island, Jazeera, all the states. Mainly the, con the concern of survival, se sepsis, audit, le e learning, research, methodology, and general clubs. And this is going, it's still going. And you could see this is the platform where they have been doing, they have been lab courses. All of this have been going, not, not all of these courses, but most of this have been doing. And it is rotational, they do it every year. I'll get through these uh, things. Uh, medical student outreach, they do five workshops, uh, and when they finish, they repeat that again. And they have done, it is based, uh, problem-based uh, study skills, speed learning. It involves 12 universities, weekly sessions as well for, uh, for medical student finals. And this is the thing. Website publicity. We have a, a very good website. We are and now we, we, are, we, are, we are reconstructing it, and hopefully we'll see it in the. Uh, we got about five members, and we hope we could recruit Musharraf as well to to, to, to help in that. Uh, newsletter, you could see uh, most of you, all of you, you have seen the newsletter. Uh, conferences, we have done. Uh, London conference, uh, I think, uh, uh, first I spoke about that. We have two SMA conferences in Sudan so far. We have a significant conference in Ireland. Uh, partnership, we try to do partnership with uh, non-government NGOs, Federal Minister of Health, and other bodies. Right. Will you give me a, another minute? <laughs> I'm just going to say, <laughs> training activity, uh, re really it is yearly. Uh, campaign, and I think we are. I, 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 most of you will see, the, you will see all everything in the in the newsletter. So I don't, I haven't got enough time for that. So uh, workshop, we have done lots of workshops in Sudan. These, these workshops, the pathology workshop, lab course, all of those are free of co of charge. No, MRCP part two written courses, MRCP uh, CH part two written courses. <coughs> Pace is teaching MRCP, uh, MRCS, part A courses. All of them are done in Sudan and free of charge. Uh, we'll go. Our obstacles, the finance, because mm, in, 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 it's a big problem, finance. We could have done better. Progress when you go to Sudan to try to find places to do lectures. This is a nightmare. I remember the first course of MRCP, I did it in 2000 in Sudan, and I couldn't find a place. We did it in one of the, the, the student house. You go everywhere, there's problems. So this is a problem. Uh, we have a problem with recruitment because missing the service as a, a union body, politics, a lot of problems. So we try to overcome this. This is the main problem for our uh, future. More members, young bloods, other health professional, payment resources for funding. Funding is a big problem. 
what we are trying to do, we try to do health convoys. I'm not going to go this because I haven't got time, but health convoys and go to do like specialized training in certain area. So let's go to the rural area and doing some uh, relief uh, uh, health convoys. It, it depends on the funding, obviously. Uh, more recruitment, but the main important thing, clinical attachment to carry. I can say that we have done in the last year 20 clinical attachment. Ton of these clinical attaché in UK, they got the jobs in the same place where they did the attachment, which is quite helpful. So we are just, uh, we got a, a database for people who want clinical attachment. It's very successful. Right. LMS, I think I'll leave it. And our aim really in the future to do a peer review for, uh, uh, journal, which in collaboration with the uh, 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 so the Sudanese Specialization Board, Medical Council, and, and uh, also the uh, UK-based authorities, uh, and that's <laughs> <Right. laughs>